What's up everyone? It's your boy Rad 89 here bringing you another video and for today's video we are going to be ranking all five Scream films against each other. This is going to be my list from worst to best and of course this is just my opinion so I would love to hear from all of you in the comment section. Share your list of your ranking for the Scream franchise. Yes we do have five films now and I do have reviews for all five films on my channel so go back and breeze through my playlist. I got some rad movie reviews for all five like I said so you can get my ideas more in depth about each one individually this is just going to be like i said a run of the mill kind of ranking them all, ranking them all against each other showing you where they lay so let's get into this video coming at the bottom of the barrel for me number five this is literally the only screen film i don't like like i really don't i'm just like you i can do without this film for sure for real even though i've seen this movie like 12 times I can really do without this film. Like, I've just given it so many chances. And that's Scream 3. Scream 3 is one that I don't jive with at all. I think the comedy in this one is by far the worst. And it takes away from the story. I absolutely hate a lot of the characters in this movie. I can't stand it. I don't like the whole, like, oh, we're making stab within the movie. Like, it's very meta. Yes, Scream is very meta. And it's always trying to do those things. And it's like, you know, a movie within a movie... The killer's killing them in order of the scripts. Like, I'm just, I don't like that at all. I hated all that stuff. I think Nev Campbell's performance in this one, I just didn't really enjoy that at all either. And this is one of my least favorite killer reveals. Roman, I freaking hate Roman's character. I hate his motivation, everything. This film, like, for real, is one that I don't jive with at all. I hate all of that kind of stuff, like the reveal. Like, everything major about Scream you're supposed to like, I dislike about this film. And that's why it sits here at the bottom of the barrel. Coming in at number four, ironically, is going to be Scream 4, and I actually did have a better time with this one on my recent rewatch. I did watch it after I seen the newest one, Scream 2000 to 22, the newest one, Five Cream. So maybe that influenced it and made it and like kind of heightened my love for it or my enjoyment factor in watching Scream 4 again, but I did like this one a lot better than Scream 3. It is a step up in characters, the witty dialogue, everything is more prominent in this one, and it's because Kevin Williamson, I think, was more like at the head of the script of this one, and you can tell, like, you know, the certain characters, certain dialogue, certain scenes, you can just feel it, and all that kind of stuff. And Scream 3 had a different writer, so that's what they went with, someone else at the top of the helm, and I didn't like that at all, so. But yeah, I definitely did, like I said, have a better time with this one on rewatch. The killer reveal is okay. I'm okay with the killer reveal. I think the third act, it does kind of fall apart a little bit. Dewey's my least favorite in this one, and I usually like him out of the OG cast. And I think he's kind of in the background in this in this movie. I don't think he's in it that much. The whole Gale coming back at, like, because she's just writing fiction, and now she wants to solve the murder again. Like, it's just... Eh, it's it's okay, you know. I have fun with Judy's character, you know, Deputy Judy's really funny. So there's there's good things about this one, but there's nothing that elevates it to the level that I like the other three Scream films that you're going to see on this list. Rolling in at number three, this one is tight for me. The two and three spot, it's like razor thin, and one trumps the other one just by a couple things, and we'll get into that when we get to my number two selection. But number three for me is going to be Scream 2. Yes, we get to see Nev Campbell's character, Sydney, as she's in college. You know, Randy and all of them kind of moved on a little bit from Woodsboro. They're in college trying to live their lives. She has a new boyfriend, and Ghostface comes back and starts terrorizing things. And, of course, this is the very, very sad film where we do lose Randy's character inside of the franchise. So, oh, man, this is a really good one. Like I said, two and three are flirting with like, oh, which one's which one's better? But Scream Two is still a really fun time. You know what I mean? Timothy Oliphant, Laurie Metcalf, like there's a good cast in here. We also got, I think, um, uh, was Jada Pinkett Smith in the beginning intro scene, which I really do like the intro scene. There's, but there's some things unfathomable stuff that happens in this movie, especially compared to the other Scream films. Like you know what I mean? Even the ones lower than this. There's weird things that happen in this movie that just bug me and still irk me to this day when I watch it as like, you know, certain things like Nev Campbell crawling across our killer in the front car when he's knocked out. Kill him, take off his mask, do it right then and there, I don't care. No excuses, frickin' do it right there. Our other one is when um, the one guy in the beginning intro scenes listening to the bathroom stall and like Ghostface just gets him in the ear like, how the f did he know he was standing right there? Unless he peeked over and looked down 
real quick and then and then you know what i mean i just i found it unbelievable that, like i said there's weird little things that bother me in this film that kind of keep it from reaching of that upper echelon scream level but this is still a pretty good movie timothy oliphant i'm a huge fan of so mickey when we get his review of the killer at the end even though it's kind of predictable it's still kind of cool and like his acting i love his acting in that third act so yeah scream 2 is still pretty good like i still enjoy this film this is like a you know 8 out of 10 film for me coming in at number two and this is the one like i said flirted with scream 2 with that two three spot scream 2022 or aka five cream oh my god this film was a blast easily kind of like when i watched it and like the more i thought about this film i was like i think this film deserves to be number two for many reasons okay it's the most meta out of all the scream films i think it's definitely the most meta for real it has some of the most meta storyline stuff scenes that you've ever seen in a movie ever there's a brutal ghost face i think the tone between comedy and seriousness they nailed it compared like when you compare it to the other scream films this is closest to me to that first scream film in terms of balancing the tone and i think the killer reveals one of them i actually saw coming so one our, our boyfriend character richie i freaking totally saw that coming once he took damage on screen from Ghostface and all the other main characters kind of saw him. I was like, oh, well, he's one of the fucking killers. So, you know, there you go. But another one for sure is like at the Amber reveal. I was a little hesitant on that one. And once we find out that she is actually the one, spoilers, of course, like, you know, <laughs> you should know by now, spoilers for this ranking video. When she find out that she's the one that killed Dewey, I was like, there's some things that are just a little unbelievable to make that scene work that kind of like I was emotionally invested and I was on the verge of tears because I love Dewey's character, but there were certain things that happened to the buildup of that moment that I didn't believe. I had to suspend disbelief to get to that moment. So that's why I wasn't as potent as I wanted it to be. But overall, the whole film cinematography, I think this is one of the best looking scream films that we've ever gotten. And the creators that we have for Five Cream, aka Scream 2022, I think are a really good, really good people to have in the hands of the Scream franchise. We can trust them, and I think if they do do a Scream Six, uh, like I said, I'll be definitely down to check it out because this one was right up there. Plus, this one's gonna have a good nostalgia factor. That's another thing that had this one above Scream Two. Is I took my daughters to see this one, the first ever, their first ever horror film in theaters with me and my wife. So this one's always gonna have a little bit of nostalgia factor over some of those other Scream films. But coming in at the number one spot, the top dog, the film that trumps them all. This is probably a 10 out of 10 film for me, easy. And you can argue that this is one of the greatest horror films that has ever touched this planet Earth. And that's the original Scream. Yes, directed and written, written by Kevin Williamson and directed by Wes Craven, like this film like I said, it's so important. There have been so many videos talking about how important Scream is, and it really is that. There's no way to stress it enough, is that this really did revitalize horror. Horror would not be where it is today if we didn't have Scream, and that's a true fucking fact. Like, I, could, I swear to God, like, for real, that's a true fact. So that's the importance of this film. There are so many things in this film that work. The killer reveal is easily the best. When I thought of all the films on this list and I was ranking them and thinking about them, the killer reveal is easily the best in this film. The performances by some of the characters in this movie are easily some of the best in the entire franchise. And I think that way that Wes Craven was able to balance that comedic tone with the serious slasher nature it really takes a hold of you in this first film because you can watch Scream, especially after you watch it the first time and you know who done it and you feel it. There's so much more to unpack in the film and to have fun with after you watch it a second, a third, or a fourth time. There's stuff you're going to see or experience more differently every time. And that's why I love this film for real. Like Scream, you know, it was easily like one of the best horror slashers ever made. Like I can say for easily it is. And the only one that comes close, like for me, for real, is that newest film, Scream. I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't seen it because that's the closest one, I think, in tone and the way it feels, the seriousness. It really did match, like I said, that first film, that love that I had and that entertainment and experience. But 
over over time like this film has even grown higher because of the nostalgia factor of showing people for the first time you know showing it to my my daughters for the first time you know all that kind of stuff like scream is has cemented itself as that number one spot in this franchise but Hopefully, we'll be getting Scream 6, and I can't wait to check that out with the new creators. They said they're eagerly waiting and can't wait to come back if they want to do a Scream 6, and I hope they do because the newest film, I think, has already eclipsed 80 million like globally in terms of money that it's made so that's that's amazing you know for a horror film like i said scream i think this one they did a really good job in terms of the newer franchises doing like those re really cool things or like rehashing franchises that have been kind of dead for a little bit i think scream really did nail it for sure that scream 5 and you know, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this list. This is just my list and my personal opinion ranking the Scream franchise. I would love to hear from all of you. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button so you can stay glued to the channel and you are up to date anytime I post a video. And have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.